Hi, this is uh, Dicky uh, from Drifter Maniacs, and this is my uh, Armor Typhon review. Uh, note that's Typhon, not Typhoon. If you want to see how we got to this stage, then please keep watching. The first thing I wanted to say is any questions at all on this review, do ask away in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. So let's see how we got here. Uh, this is a uh, one eight scale buggy. Uh, it takes up to 6S batteries, 4S as uh, a minimum, 60 miles per hour. Uh, you might think that's straight out of the box. Slight misnomer, uh, it will do up to over 50 out of the box. With, it comes supplied with two pinion gears, one fit the standard and the higher speed one it will take you over 50 miles an hour. You want to go over 60, you have to buy an extra pinion gear. So, slight misnomer there on the box, but anyway. Uh, also says ready to run you will need uh, batteries and a charger for this so it doesn't come entirely ready uh, to run so you're going to need those on top of the cost of the car well before i dive in the box let's just have a quick look at some of the key features of the car 16 millimeter wide aluminium shocks all round we got a very nice solid three millimeter black anodized chassis plate and uh, we got three gear differentials front rear center all of them are, you can change the oil in all of them to adjust the uh, the driving style to suit you. Fully adjustable battery tower on there. It says waterproof. However, whilst the uh, ESC, which is 180 amp ESC by the way, uh, is waterproof. We've also got the 2050 kV brushless motor. We've got a waterproof uh, servo on here, high torque. Uh, however, the receiver box is only splash proof, uh, just something that I picked up on a couple of uh, forums on there. Anyway, I'm chomping at the bit to get this box open. Just before I dig into the uh, buggy itself, just seeing this on the outside of the box, the acceleration time uh, from 0 to 60 here uh, can hit uh, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds, which is not hanging around, and it hits 50 in 3 seconds. So uh, you're going to need a big area to run this thing. So uh, let's get this unboxed and. Uh see what we've got in here for our money okay first up we've got a bag with our extra spare gear on here we've got our toolkit in here uh, receiver binding there by the looks of it manual any stickers oh warning whoa I've done that in a minute uh, well uh, we got a car in itself the armor typhoon 1 8th buggy looking forward to having some serious fun with this uh, in here so quickly open that up okay 2.4 gigahertz so nothing's going to uh, interfere with that uh, nice solid feel to it um, this this doesn't feel like a, a lightweight item. Uh, just got to get four AA batteries uh, to go in here. Uh, all that looks good. Uh, fold up antenna on there. Uh, all looks good to go. I guess somewhere maybe uh, under here we have uh, some adjustability. Yeah, there we go. So we've got uh, steering trim, throttle trim, a few reversing functions on there for uh, steering and throttle and binding in the middle there so i'm going to need to read up on that but uh, yeah quite impressed with that radio he says as the cover nearly falls off oh there we are back again right let's put that to one side okay so the car itself wow well first things first the armor typhon was designed from the ground up as an electric buggy it's not based as many 1 8 buggies are uh, on uh, a nitro car which they don't have a fiddle around with the design inside the whole thing has been designed to take electric power uh, from the front on the back here we have this great rear wing but I guess you're going to need some care to be taken there uh, in case you uh, flip over the car so uh, let's have a look and uh, dig down at this great suspension here wow there's some uh, seriously uh, beefy shocks on the, the front there um, I believe under here these are hinged diff covers so I'm going to unloop undo the screws here we can just swing this open uh, the suspension is uh, pillow balls in here uh, which give a great I don't know if you can see that on there steering angle uh, speaking of steering the servo fitted to this car uh, 204 ounce uh, inch 
of torque on there and 0.12 speed uh, on the reaction time for that so uh, unlike a lot of these buggies that come uh, and you end up needing to change the servo uh, the servo on this thing is going to be able to handle this car the power and keep the thing steering in the right direction so uh, have a spin round to the back here wow the action end of things uh, but as I say four wheel drive all round here uh, so uh, looks to be pretty here well we've got our sway bar here so uh, looks to be pretty good overall uh, nicely damped on there so we're uh, definitely looking forward to getting this outside so uh, let's get the cover off and uh, have a look uh, under the skin okay so we've just got the three body clips on there which I've just removed Wow, we got this great red anodized uh, aluminium uh, throughout the uh, the various suspension parts. Full adjustable shocks, uh, front and rear on here. As I said, we got the three differentials: the center one, and uh, the front and the rear ones. And you can change the oil in all of them. I believe these uh, little covers on here hinge up for easy access uh, to the differentials. But I need to look that up in a minute. We've got our receiver tucked away in here, so just splash proof. Uh, our high torque servo on here um, there's also I believe a fully adjustable uh, servo saver uh, built on to here this is our 2050 kV brushless motor as I say this can take up to 6s you see the leads here uh, they've got the jumper so you can a handy little touch this actually you've got the lead here that uh, pulls apart so we can either fit uh, two 2s packs in uh, to give us 4s or two 3s packs in to give us 6s or you might just want to use uh, one 4S pack or one 6S pack and in which case you just put the jumper lead on there and you just fit your one battery in there very neat feature that um, little loop fully adjustable uh, battery tray on here for strapping down um, you might struggle to fit some larger lipos in there lengthwise uh, but I'm gonna have to have a careful uh, think about that with the battery so we've got our 180 amp ESC on here Overall, initial impressions, very, very good. The whole thing feels very engineered. Very solid feeling car. Um, really liking this. Let's have a look uh, underneath. Yep, no smooth chassis plate on there. Pretty good. Overall, cannot wait to get this outside. Uh, looks to come with a fairly comprehensive uh, set of tools. Have a look in our bag. Yeah, this is the, uh, as I say, the extra gear I mentioned uh, for going faster. This will take you up. I'll show the speed chart in just one second. We've got a very good toolkit on here. Uh, very impressed uh, with this. I'm guessing that these are to do with the battery tray uh, for sizes of batteries. We've got our receiver binding plug. It may already come bound uh, to the uh, transmit. I'm not sure, but we've got the receiver plug there anyway. When I mentioned the speed of the car a standard with um, 4s on here you can get 35 to 40 miles an hour straight out the uh, the box uh, with 6s the two 3s packs on it and the standard gear and you're going to get 40 miles plus out the box 50 miles an hour plus we're going to need to fit this gear which is supplied with it if you want to go over 60 uh, and this is 2x3s on there as well but 6s in total if you want to go over 60 you need to send off for the uh, additional pinion gear here this is only about ten dollars i cannot see for the life of me why this isn't included within the kit summer come on somebody at armor uh, get the act together and uh, get that included in the newer versions of this uh, we've got our instruction manual in here let's uh, quickly grab this Full exploded plans at the back here. Break down everything done by part number here. So this is uh, very good should you uh, bang it into anything or break anything. Um, you can, uh, looks like you're gonna be able to order the parts fairly easily. Break down as to how you can uh, adjust the shocks, change the oil in them, etc. Servo saver adjustment, as I mentioned, this is uh, fully adjustable. It's done with an Allen key from below by the uh, looks of it. Gearbox removal on there for the diffs and things. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty comprehensive uh, uh, instruction man. You can almost build a damn car from this thing. Uh, never mind, just change parts on it. So, what do we get for our money? Uh, I'm going to look at this warning thing uh, later. I'm sure that will be some 
very useful information or not we get our speed chart we get our instruction manual our warning manual we get our toolkit our binding plug battery uh, tray parts we got our extra pinion we get this great 1 8 scale buggy um, this is my first ever buggy I'm really looking forward to this it is designed predominantly for bashing you will read though the thing is so well built and so well designed uh, a lot of people are taking this racing uh, or looking at taking it racing um, it has a just screams quality the whole thing feels very solid very well built um, I mean the proof will be in the pudding we've got fully adjustable uh, turnbuckles um, all round here and we've got this great looking body for going over the top as I say the uh, the radio that it comes with um, looks uh, to be a pretty good item as well so uh, this is what we get for our money um, so uh, the proof will be in the driving so to speak so uh, I'm gonna go and uh, get some batteries for it power the transmitter and the radio up and uh, take it outside for a quick spin so uh, I hope you like this video if you did and you want to see the runtime video of this uh, then please do like and subscribe and by all means give us the thumbs up thanks for watching